Hello viewers and welcome to my channel, CCM Drummer. My name is Matthew Jackson. The song I'm going to cover for you today is called End Times by Michael and Stormy O'Marnian. It's off Michael's fourth album entitled The Builder, which was released in 1980 by Murr Records. This is an album that uh, Michael's wife Stormy worked with him as a co-creator and co-performer uh, on. Um, anyway, this album was nominated for a Grammy for Best Contemporary Gospel Performance. Stormy O'Mardian is a prolific author. She's written a lot of books. If you want to check out her books, feel free to go to her website, stormyomardian.com. Michael O'Mardian is a prolific producer and arranger. He's worked on a ton of projects, both Christian and secular. He was nominated for 11 Grammy Awards. Of those 11, he won three. And he's also, he also won three GMA Dove Awards. This cover will be my third cover where I've covered Michael O'Marty. And the first song was Alive and Well, and the other song was Jeremiah. So feel free to check out those songs that are on this channel. Paul Lyme was the original drummer on the soundtrack, whom I'll be playing after and trying to emulate as close as possible. Uh, the first six was uh, God, in, God is in Control, Gloria, I Don't Worry, Taking the Narrow Street, Hosanna, and Wise Up. Those songs are also on this channel if you want to check them out. I'll have a closing thought for you in the um, post log of this video. But until then, please enjoy the cover, End Times by Michael and Stormy O'Mardian. Sit back and enjoy.
And there you have it, my friends. That is End Times by Michael and Stormy O'Marty. What I want to do now is I want to take a trick out of Dramatic's playbook and talk about why I chose this song. That's what Dramatic does on the post logs of his drum covers, and I want to do the same here. But before I do that, don't forget to like this video, uh, share, comment, and above all, subscribe. When you do those four things, that helps grow my channel, so I sure would appreciate it. At the time of this recording, right now as I'm recording, I am at 871 subscribers, and I'm really trying to get to 1,000, so if you can help me get closer to the goal of 1,000, I sure would appreciate it. So, anyway, why I chose this song. The reason I chose this song is because it's just a good, hot, jamming song. Well-arranged, good percussion, good drums, good instrumentation. I mean, it's just a good song from front to back. That's why I chose the song. Um, now, you may have heard the lyrics in this song. I believe the signs are clear, the end is near, or I believe the end is near, the signs are clear, okay? You heard that several times, I'm sure, throughout the song. And you're probably wondering, well, well, my wife wondered, she asked me, sweetie, if, if you're a preterist and you don't believe that the end is near, why would you play this song. And I says, well, sweetie, it's just a good song, <laughs> you know, what can I say? And in Bible school, I listened to this song all the time. I was crazy about this song. And it's just a good song, even though I don't necessarily agree with the part of the uh, signs are clear, the end is near part. But the other parts of the lyrics where it talks about the human condition, that's very applicable for today. But you got to think, uh, this song came out, was published in 1980, and now it's 2023, so that's 43 years ago, okay? So obviously, the end wasn't near when this song came out, is, is Michael O'Marty and in Stormy O'Marty and thought. Now, not to fault Michael and Stormy for writing those lyrics, because a lot of evangelical Christians back in those days thought that the rapture was going to happen any minute now, you know, like any day. I mean, I remember evangelical Christians not setting up 401ks and IRA accounts. Uh, because they thought the Lord was going to come back. They thought that would be a waste of time and money to do that. I mean, that's how crazy it was back then. Now, you still have a lot of evangelicals today that believe that the Lord could come back any time now, coming back soon, you know. But it was really hyper crazy back in those days. But I would like, if I could, I would like to ask Michael and Stormy O'Marty and now that 43 years have transpired from the time that song came out, what are their feelings and thoughts on it now, looking in retrospect? I would be interested to see what their perspective was. But yeah, that there, in fact, there's uh, quite a number of CCM songs, by the way, that talked about the Lord coming back soon and the rapture and blah, blah, blah. But anyway, interesting, isn't it? So again, thank you for watching. God bless you. And I'll see you on my next drum cover. Take care. God bless.